Around 70% of shoulder pain is caused by disease of the rotator cuff, a group of muscles and tendons that keep the shoulder joint in place and allow us to move our arms in a controlled way. Small tears in these tendons can be surgically repaired by bringing the tendon to the bone and anchoring the soft tissue of the cuff in place. But large tears, or those with poor quality soft tissue, cannot always be stretched to the bone and mended in the same way. The risk of tearing tendons increases with age and with conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, a potentially crippling disease which can cause debilitating pain. Hello, Margaret. Margaret Dyson is a long-term sufferer and was forced to retire from her job as a teaching assistant because of her rheumatoid arthritis. I was diagnosed, well, 15 years ago. It started in my knees, so I've got two knee replacements as well. I'd be crawling into bed when I'd been to work. Yeah, at seven o'clock, once my youngest were in bed, I was crawling into bed. When I sort of said hello to you, you shook with your left arm. I'm in a lot of pain with this arm. Uh, you get pain, it's like a band going across here for some unknown reason. It comes up into your neck and your shoulder blade around the back there. Even though it's under control at the moment, if I forget and I want to pick one of my grandchildren up, you drop them mm. or, or he shouts or somebody goes, no, no, don't, don't do that. So it's like an instinctive yeah. thing if a, a toddler's coming up to you, but I, I can't do it. I'm fortunate that I work for myself. I can run my life around offering the support that she needs. 20 months ago, Margaret had conventional keyhole surgery in an attempt to repair a large tear in her right shoulder. The operation was unsuccessful and Margaret is on strong medication to deal with the excruciating pain. Would you like a cup of tea? I'd love one. Tomorrow, she will have the new patch implanted. See, that looked quite heavy for you, that. It is heavy. Stay. It is heavy. See, and I screwed that back on quite tight there. I, shouldn't, I should have thought to leave it open. No, no, it's all right. right. I don't want molly cuddling. So I can see the scar here. This is where you've had the patch already. Yes. So this is now your good shoulder. Correct. And this is the way you've had a previous operation. There's some little scars, aren't there, from yeah. little camera keyhole surgery, but that's not worked as well. No. Why don't you show me what's, you know, how good your arm is now? They're right up there. Yep. You know, that's almost Head. completely normal. Back. Yeah. Into the back. So this one, that's it. Mm. And it's and it's painful. It's painful, really. And this arm was like that. Yeah. Before. Yeah. Before you had the patch in. Yeah. I'm hoping it'll be as good. Yeah. I'm hoping. The Leeds cuff patch was invented by Mr. Roger Hackney, who will be performing the surgery on Margaret tomorrow. The small and medium-sized tears are fairly easy to fix with keyhole surgery, but it's when they get to be large or massive, which is greater than uh, five centimetres in any given direction, that you start running into problems. And you get patients who have tears which you can partially repair with keyhole surgery, uh, and unfortunately, the repair tends to fall apart. So that's where the patch comes in. What's it made of? Is it made of... Or is it... I mean, it's I can see the shape there. polyester. Yeah. The important part is the nature of the weave. And the dimension of this weave is just right for tissue to grow into. So not only is the patch used to support a, a repair, mm. it also allows tissue ingrowth. So the idea is that eventually tissue will grow in and through the patch so that the structure of the tendon will be more or less reproduced. Aside from those with rheumatoid arthritis, around half of people over the age of 60 may have partial or complete rotator cuff tears. Margaret is one of 50 patients involved in a trial to measure the impact of the patch. Okay. So today's operation is, uh, have a look at your rotator cuff again. Any repair can fail, as you know from your right shoulder in the past. Some people's shoulders do react to the trauma of the surgery, just because you've had a good result on the other side. Necessarily mean oh, no, we will, we will. Okay. <laughs> but that's a risk you have to accept, okay? So, this is where Margaret's going to be put off to sleep with a general anaesthetic, and then we'll join them for when they do the block to anaesthetize the arm.
So this is her rotator cuff there, mm. where it attaches to the back of the ball part of the joint, the humeral head. That's the articular surface, which is looking a little ragged. Yes, very frayed. Because when she's lifting her arm, that's rubbing against the bone on the undersurface of the roof, the shoulder up there. And that's what's causing the pain. So what I'm doing now is just peeling the deltoid muscle off the bone at the front to give myself access to do the surgery. Just scratch away the bone a bit. Get a nice raw surface for everything to heal onto. So now it's a matter of using those stay sutures, which I was using to pull on the tendon, yeah. to go around the edge of the patch. The patch is firmly sutured to the tendon then. Mr Hackney stitches the soft tissue of the torn shoulder tendon back together. The Leeds cuff patch is then sewn to the tendon to strengthen and stabilise it. Finally, the patch is anchored in place with stitches through the bone. Eventually, the surrounding tissue infiltrates the patch so it becomes part of the tendon. So it's all held there with nine nice sutures. It's sitting snugly and that's the patch done. So that'll do very nicely. Okay, there we go. Hello, how are you all? Yeah, you okay, Lewis? Yes, I'm fine. You saw Mr. Um, Hackney, so that's great. Yeah, he was very pleased. Yeah. Right, are you going to go this minute or are we going to yeah, give you some time? Yeah. If you are happy, I'm happy to go. Yeah? Oh, what can I do? Cover the flowers. Yeah? <laughs> no problem. The success of the patch could have an extensive impact on patients like Margaret who can, for the first time in years, look forward to living an independent life free of crippling pain. I hope you have as good an outcome there as on the other arm. Yeah? yeah? I will. <laughs>